everybody, this is Colleen from Keeping the Peace and welcome back to another episode of Colleen Answers Your Questions. Today our question comes from Red Rife 3 I'm probably butchering the pronunciation, I'll put it here. Um, and it came in the down bar of Choosing a Handgun, Episode 6, Physical Challenges. And I'm going to summarize some of it. This gentleman is trying to find a gun for his mother. She's in her 70s and she has arthritis in her hands. And she initially tried a semi-automatic, but was turned off basically because of the weight. Um, and she liked the sights of the semi-auto, but wasn't real crazy about having to manipulate the slide, uh, which is really common uh, with not only older people, but people who struggle with um, arthritis in their hands, okay? She then tried several different revolvers. So he had her try the Smith & Wesson model SP-101, the weight was perfect with 38 Special. The weight helped mitigate the recoil. The sights were not to her liking, so she doesn't like those typical revolver sights. I agree, they're difficult to line up and hard to see on a dark target. Um, so she said, can you find that gun, but with semi-automatic sights, basically. So she likes that squared offness of semi-automatic sights. He searched and found the Wiley Clap version that had perfect sights. They went back for another shooting session, but the second time she shot it, the trigger bothered her. Very common for revolvers to have very heavy triggers. Okay, so um, he's not sure how to deal with getting her something with a lighter trigger. You're not really going to find a revolver with a light trigger unless you have something done to it. And then that's a whole nother ball of questions there. Um, so basically, are there any arthritis friendly revolvers is what he wants to know. Um, do I just take a bunch of snap caps and let her dry fire at the store until she finds one that feels good? Or do I call her around and pray that someone has one to rent? Thank you for your advice. Definitely go somewhere where you can rent handguns. And out of all the revolvers I've shot, I also have arthritis in my hands, especially my thumbs and my trigger fingers. Probably because I use those the most, especially with loading magazines. I think I've kind of done some damage there. Um, and... I cannot handle shooting double action on a revolver for very long without severe pain in this joint. Hurts terribly. Um, I also have the same problem with really small micro pistols like the Ruger LC, um, LCP or the Smith & Wesson little teeny, what is it called? The little 380, little M&P 380. Um, Kel-Tec. P3AT, that one, all those little teeny ones with that really long trigger. After, you know, 50 rounds, I've got some severe pain in this joint because of arthritis. So I totally understand what she's talking about with the trigger. Out of all the revolvers I've shot, uh, the Ruger LCR, in my opinion, has the best trigger. It doesn't, it's still heavy, but it doesn't have the same kind of feel as all the Smith & Wessons that I've shot. Um, I like it. If I were to ever go back to carrying a revolver, which I probably won't, but if I were to buy a revolver, that's the one that I would get. I enjoy the way the trigger is. Now, the sights, they might be a tiny bit different than, you know, the one that she shot, the Smith & Wesson that she shot. Um, but you're not going to find one of those with the big squared off sights. It's just, it's kind of a balance, you know. You might be able to maybe paint a white dot that might help or get fiber optics put on there or something like that. But, in my opinion, that's the easiest revolver to shoot. Now, if she's willing to try another semi-automatic, the one that I always re recommend for people with truly weak or with arthritic hands is the Sig Sawyer P238. It's in a 380 ACP caliber. It has an extremely easy action. It's very easy to manipulate the slide. It's very easy to insert magazines and cycle around into the chamber. Um, the safety is fairly easy, however, when my arthritis in my thumbs is really acting up, sometimes I have to use the thumb of my non-dominant hand to come up and thumb off and on the safety. It kind of depends because arthritis goes in cycles. Sometimes you're really flared up and sometimes you're not. So she'll probably find that's an issue also. If her arthritis is causing deformity in the hands, which some people do, some people have hands that are uh, so wrecked by arthritis that there are actually bending of the digits and things like that then you have other issues so if that's an issue please let me know because I'm not referring to that in this video if that's an issue tell me down below and we'll 
we'll try to figure that out but I would have her try the Ruger LCR and the Six Sawyer P238 and then let me know what happens and hopefully you can find a place where you can rent both of those because that makes the world a difference before you lay down the cash to buy something it's definitely good to rent it if you can so hopefully I answered your question if any of you have arthritis and you have found a perfect solution for yourself or if you have an aged parent and you're trying to find a gun for them and you have found the perfect thing uh, for someone with arthritis please leave that down below in the comments I love to learn from you guys and I appreciate you following this series if you enjoyed this video Give it a thumbs up and please recommend it to a friend. Thanks. God bless. Bye.